often I, I describe myself as an inside outsider. Um, being, you know, spend time in America, and uh, but I, I always have this different perspective. So I started with basic observation. I mean, you know, America is plagued with racism. America is plagued with violence, different forms of violence, from gun violence to political violence. <coughs> that most form of violence relate to ethno-racial uh, relations. Basic observation. Um, how can you explain <coughs> the resilience of violence in America despite some legislative improvement, some progress towards tolerance and so on, in a multiracial society? Very simple question. I thought it would be a project of the year. Well, five years after that. Always starts that way. Yeah, always. So, um, so PhD students, uh, we share your pain. Um, so how can we explain the resilience um, of, of ethno-racial violence? So I started to study the, um, the common explanation. There is a vast literature on economic factors, okay? Competition between groups for scarce resources. Yeah, it explained part of the story, but only part of the story. I turned to institutional factors, uh, the lack of reforms or reforms that are not effective enough or too effective uh, generating the backlash effect of people who feel threatened by the reform, such as the <coughs> backlash uh, during the reconstruction or after the civil war, the civil, civil war, see, I'm, I'm obsessed, uh, the civil rights movement. <clears throat> and yes, it explained a lot, but only part of the story. So I decided, well, I need another explanation. I need something that would uh, be built on these findings, but will connect some puzzling variation. And um, this is why I, I investigate another aspect of, uh, of American society, and I found that various ethno-racial groups often use violence, discursive and or physical, to achieve goals that relate to their ethno-racial identification. It can be by choice, it can be by necessity, it can be to secure domination, or it can be a strategy to survive. So different groups use violence, and this use of violence is most of the time related to ethno-racial identity. So I went further and I argue in my book that the use of violence, either in propagating adversity or as a response to adversity, is part of an identity strategy. 